Hi, welcome to the Tarot Genie, where you receive insightful, intuitive answers from the tarot to your burning questions about business, career, creativity, communications, entrepreneurship, healthful lifestyle, spirituality, and more. My name is Laura, and I am an intuitive tarot reader and advisor. And this week, I'd like to ask the tarot, how do you go about slaying your personal dragons? And when I say slaying your personal dragons, what I mean by that is if you are trying to build a business or move forward in a particular project or career, but you feel like you're coming up against limiting beliefs, insecurities, doubts, fears, and they're really holding you back, those are dragons that you need to slay. And so this week I'd like to ask the tarot, how, we, how you, you and I, can start going about slaying these dragons so that we can move forward in a more flowing, meaningful way. And one of the resources, as always, I'd like to share with you this week and where this term, this approach came from about slaying your personal dragons is the Conquer Kit. The Conquer Kit is a creative business planner for women entrepreneurs by Natalie McNeil. And her specialty is in working with women entrepreneurs. And I am personally working through this book slowly, week by week, to, among other things, slay my personal dragons. It became, I became aware this week of a personal dragon I have. And that limiting belief relates to generating sufficient income from a business venture. And even though I've been aware that I've had it for some time, it just became crystal clear this week that it is limiting me substantially. It's still there. So let's ask the tarot how you go about three cards, three card reading, you know, what insights we can gather from, like where, is, where are these insecurities? Where are these limiting beliefs coming from? Then secondly, actions that you should take to start going about slaying these dragons, putting them to the side, and then some insights onto the likely outcome, what your path will be once you start to slay these dragons and get rid of them once and for all. So let's see what the tarot has to say. I just always wanna make sure I'm shuffling the question very thoroughly into the cards as recommended by one of my tarot instructors but it is something that plagues many of us. In fact, one of the common dragons that people slay, especially entrepreneurs, is called the imposter syndrome. And that's a syndrome or a belief that a lot of people have when they're starting out in a business that they really aren't qualified. Even if they have a lot of training, even if they've had great results, something about it, they feel like they are not quite qualified to move forward. They just feel like they're not because they're imperfect, that they are an imposter of sorts. So that is one of the dragons that people, especially entrepreneurs, often find themselves faced with. As pointed out by one of my business mentors, Lee Miltier, who talks about that in one of her books, Success is an Inside Job, really addresses that issue of how you really have to succeed from the inside out. So one of the ways is slaying these dragons. Right. Selecting the three cards and let's see what the tarot has to say today. First card, the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups. I always find this an interesting image. One is the Eights. Eights relate to power, strength of some type, the structure. And what is always interesting, even though there are eight cups in this particular image, it's noticeable, don't you see how there, it's a gap between these cups and suggesting that there's something missing. And we see this individual taking off into, you know, some going up into the cliffs as if he's on a journey seeking something. And then there's a crescent moon and the full moon waxing and waning. Moon often relating to intuition, insights. And there's a lot of water, the blue sky at night, the light blue sky at night, and the watery, the water image there, suggesting a 
a retreat into and moving into a journey to seek something. And what this suggests is that it's reflecting as often as the case in the tarot that something is missing and you're just not feeling ready or not feeling complete. And answering today's question is mirroring our, our question. You know, what is the origin and the origin of this slaying the dragons that you have to slay and somehow at some level whether it was in your upbringing that you feel there's that you are incomplete and that you don't have all that you need and this is definitely the case as i had mentioned in previous videos my own personal bugaboo is that absence of time insufficient time and that's been one of the dragons i've had to slay vis-a-vis entrepreneurship because it it's always there there's so much to do so think about as you look at this symbol of this image what you feel has been missing you know, what insight what really you know think deeply into what you feel has been missing i'm sure you'll be able to identify it and the cups do relate to feelings that's what they are they represent is that strong feeling and emotion. So at some level, this is suggesting that you really have a strong emotional tug in your heart that at some level you are missing what you need. If this is, so think about that if that makes sense. That at some level you're not, you don't have everything you need and you feel this deeply inside you. See, and so that would reflect, you know, what type of dragon that you're facing. So think about that. Now, the second card rep represents the action that you need to take in reference to slaying this dragon. And while I think this card is especially appropriate, the King of Swords. The King of Swords is a fierce man. He looks fierce. He's got this intense gaze. And what better instrument to hold? and be wielding than the sword if you're about to slay your dragons. Now, swords relate to communications. And what I feel right off the bat, this is suggesting is that this image, to in order to go about slaying your dragons, to eliminating whatever negative beliefs, is that you need to stand firm on what you are for. What are you really trying to achieve and be clear in communicating that? That's the first step in slaying a particular dragon, what you feel is missing. This, for me, this sword just represents a really clear, no-nonsense approach to communicating, or for I also see it as communicating your value, your philosophy. If you stand firm in that, if you are strong with that, these dragons are going to start falling to the wayside. That's what I see. When I look at this image of the King of Swords, I mean, he's got this red cloak around his neck. He has this crown. There are, I mean, when I look at his face, to see this strong gaze. It's a no-nonsense gaze. He just exudes authority. So and it kind of reminds me of that old jaded phrase, you know, fake it till you make it, but it's, actually it's not faking it. It's basically, I think, saying own your own power, communicate it no matter what, stand firm on it, that that is the way forward in slaying these dragons. You, if you stand firm, if you take charge and really own it, own and value what you are trying to achieve in your business, in your entrepreneurship, in your career, then this is a way that, you know, the, as I said earlier, the dragons are going to start falling by the wayside. The king is, you know, there's a little bit, of, there are these trees in the background, billowy clouds suggesting kind of some winds, some little bit of turbulence or um, winds being windswept. But when you stand firm and are just clear and steadfast, you are going to be able to move forward. But it is standing firm and standing your ground. Now finally, should you do that, what can you expect? What are likely outcomes? And I selected the Strength card, a major arcana card, which represents tremendous 
a tremendous energy, uh, an archetypal energy. And we have here in the reverse position, but the eight, oh, it's interesting. Now we have this, the reading is bookended by two eights. One is upright and one is reversed. But I don't, in this situation, given that we're asking the question what we need to do to slay the dragons, is that it's saying, if you stand firm on what you're trying to communicate and what you're trying to do in your business and approach it in that forceful way of the King of Swords, even if you feel like you're faking it before until you make it in the beginning, but I see it more as owning it, then you're going to have tremendous inner strength. It's reversed, but in me, for me, this is suggesting inner strength is just gonna be strong. You're gonna be able to actually to slay, and actually this is appropriate being in reverse because it's this lion here is looking fierce, but the young maiden who has the infinity sign over her head suggesting infinite capabilities, I see that as representing. You're gonna be able to tame that beast. Yes, you can, we'll be able to tame those dragons, even though it's not a dragon, it's a lion, same thing, same concept. You will be able to be strong, assertive, and tame those inner beasts. Now let's, looking finally in conclusion, looking at these three images, well, as I said a moment ago, we have the reading book ended by two eights. So the eights often refer to and relate to strength. And the, in the beginning, the dragon, you know, what, where, what is the origin of your dragons? It's that feeling of insecurity the feeling of there's something missing. That's what's been plaguing you. And do comment and let me know if this makes sense. But that's what I feel it's suggesting. And that it, perhaps you just need to reflect on it as this person is doing, he's looking for what's missing. So just identify what it is and realize that it's, pro it's just a belief, a feeling that probably has no validity. Just as people who have the imposter syndrome it's not usually warranted, it's just an insecurity. And again, taking charge and being strong and firm in your communications, owning your power, just even if you feel you have to fake it first, just standing your ground, standing firm, being really clear on what you are trying to achieve will allow you to take that knife and slay those dragons, that action. That is a core step and will result in this inner strength. And you really have to be strong from the inside out first to be able to move forward. I hope you found this helpful and please hit the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss any of the future videos. As always, I will give you the information about the book referenced here. I will recommend a musical selection to listen to every day of the next week. And finally, join me next week when we talk about how to create your business beacon, your business beacon, how to create your business beacon. Until next time.